readers, today's story is Fancy Nancy, The Hundredth Day of School by Jane O'Connor. It is the 97th day of school and I have a dilemma. That is a big problem. I do not know what to bring in for the hundredth day. Bree put a hundred feathers on a hat. It looks so elegant. That's a fancy word for pretty. Robert is bringing his stamp album. There are a hundred stamps in it. Yoko's piggy bank has a hundred pennies. The bank is transparent. That means you can see inside. Lionel made a ball out of a hundred rubber bands. After school, I look all around my room. I have 39 hair clips. That is not enough. I have 57 bracelets. That is not enough. I have 84 ribbons. That is not enough. What am I going to do? Now it is the 90th day of school. More kids bring in stuff. A bag with 100 marbles, a jar with 100 jelly beans, a box with 100 crayons. I tell Miss Glass my dilemma. She tells me not to worry. You are very imaginative. That means you are full of good ideas. You will think of something. At home I tell my mom my dilemma. She is making dinner. How about a poster with macaroni, she says. I do not want to hurt mom's feelings. Three kids have already done stuff with macaroni. Macaroni is not imaginative. Dad is doing the wash. Maybe he will have a good idea. Dad says, I bet we have 50 pairs of socks. That makes 100. I do not want to hurt Dad's feelings. But socks are ugly. I want something imaginative and fancy. After dinner, I try to think some more. All of a sudden, I hear my sister crying. Look, my sister says. She points at her fish bowl. Goldie is her goldfish. Goldie is not moving. We bury Goldie in our yard. Everyone is sad, even Frenchie. I'm so glad that dogs live a long time. We put a few pebbles from Goldie's bowl on top. I tell my sister, we will remember Goldie fondly. Fondly means with love. The next day I write a poem. Goldie was gold. Poor fish, she was old. She liked to swim, so she stayed slim. You can't kiss a fish. But you can miss a fish. Miss Glass likes my poem. She reads it to the class. Nancy uses interesting words. Slim means thin. Her poem is in verse. It rhymes. At home, it is sad to see the empty fish bowl. Mom is about to throw out the pebbles. Then, all of a sudden, I get an idea that is imaginative. Stop, I say. I wash and dry all the pebbles. They are so pretty. I count them. Yes, there are a hundred and four. I get my markers. I get a huge piece of paper. Huge is even bigger than big. I will make a poster. I spell out Goldie's name in glitter. I draw a picture of Goldie in her bowl. Then I glue on the pebbles. I let my sister help. I write on the poster. There are 100 pebbles in the fishbowl. Today is the 100th day of school. I bring in my poster. I made it just in time. Miss Glass brings in something too. It's a cart with 100 books. She will read them all to us before the school year ends in June. Miss Glass is so imaginative. Thanks for watching.